Hi, this is Brad Buckner with SharpensBest.com down here in Vitebu, west of Cheyenne. And you know, this is, uh, as I've said before, this is one of my most uh, favorite places. It's only 25 miles from town. It's about 7,000 foot elevation. Uh, you know, a lot of granite boulders, a lot of aspen, uh, pine trees. There is a lot of deer, elk, moose around here. Um, there's a lot of little springs and creeks and things like that. And so it's just a really fun place to go. Uh, I've had a lot of requests to sharpen a knife from dull to sharp uh, on video without changing the video, shutting it off, moving it, or having the knife out of view. So um, today I decided, beautiful day, uh, that I would just drive up here to Vitebu and, uh, you know, do a, a video and show you from dull to sharp. Uh, this is the knife right here that I'm going to use. It's, a, it's Japanese steel. Um, I used to not think very much of this knife. You know, I just thought it was kind of a cheap knife until I opened uh, three of the big number 10 cans um, of, actually of gravy, uh, with the knife. You know, the guy held the can, I jabbed it through, pound, 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 and then rip uh, to get the can, you know, cut open. I did three of them, and the knife basically hasn't been used much since then, and it does still cut just like that, and that's plenty sharp enough. We'll come around here and really put it up on the video so you can see. Clear out to the tip. And it's kind of a thick blade. Okay, let's dull it. So how am I going to dull it? Well, I'll show you how I'm going to dull it. I'm going to take my uh, buck hoodlum, <clears throat> and there it is, the buck hoodlum, designed by Ron Hood, manufactured by Buck Knives up in Pulse Falls, Idaho. And we're going to do something that just makes me cringe, but you want to see it, so I'll do it. You take the knife, the cutting edge, you take the back of the other knife, tip it up a little bit, Put your knife on there. Okay, that should be harder than cutting paper. And let's see what it did to my knife. By the way, this is a CRKT. We call them crickets. Columbia River Knife Tool. I'm going to talk about it just a little bit too. I traded one of my sharpeners for this. It's a good knife. It's got some drawbacks. And today I'm just going to use my little poker chip one. Two corners, one right there, one right there, 90 degree corners made out of tungsten carbide, the hardest metal on earth. And again, yep, I'm alone. I guess that makes better videos, <laughs> somehow. All right. Let's see how she cuts paper. And I hope it won't cut paper. Not slice paper anyway. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can chase it around. Definitely not what it used to be. So let's fix it. We're not going to change the video. You time it. I'm going to put more pressure on it than normal when I start, just like I tell everybody in my videos that I do. Sharpener, knife, dull, here it comes. I call it a magic wand. 
Why? Because it kind of looks like I'm not doing anything. All right, that's a pretty short time, but let's see how it is. Just a little bit more back here where I think I had more pressure on it when I was pushing on the uh, buck hoodlum. That's the sharpener. I don't know, is that sharp enough for you? I'm gonna make it a little sharper. kind of wet down here so if I uh, let the paper get on the ground it won't cut very good. Sharp corner touching the cutting edge not at 90 at 45, match the bevel, let it turn about 45 degrees, and brush the blade. <clears throat> when I start, I put more pressure on it, probably seven or eight ounces of pressure. You can see right now, by the way I hold the sharpener, it is kind of like a magic wand because right now I'm touching it just as light as I can to really basically hone an edge on it. All right, let's see. It's kind of wet down here. That's okay, that's why I wear my boots. It just so happens the place I like to film is down here kind of in the mud. Sharpeners, they work. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Take care.